2004 Indian Ocean earthquake and tsunami. Twenty ten Haiti earthquake. Twenty eleven Tohoku earthquake and tsunami. F five tornado, Alabama, United States. The images you have just seen are from recent natural disasters. It's sad to say that these na natural disasters seem to be happening more frequently. I'm Mark Hay, a student here at St. George's School. I've just moved here from Decatur, Alabama, a town about three-fourths the size of Spokane. Spokane and Decatur are similar in many ways. The people are friendly, and there's always great, something great to do outside. However, in May of 2011, the cater was hit by a series of tornadoes, the same series of tornadoes that struck across the southeastern United States. Imagine you and your family trapped in your small, windowless bathroom. It's dark. There's no power. You wait for four hours until the storm is over. When you finally emerge, devastation is everywhere. Multiple homes are destroyed. 38 people were killed, and over two dozen people went missing in Tuscaloosa alone. Cell phone towers still work, but are hopelessly clogged with people trying to reach their loved ones. Imagine one last thing. You too are, un are unable to reach your extended family. All these things happen to me, me and Decatur. It's a unique experience, not just for those struck, but for those close to them. That's why I'm working on a project that I believe can solve this problem. The answer is technology. Technology is everywhere. We can play games, listen to music, and talk with our friends. But more importantly, we can save lives. My project, HoBoard, is a combination of technology from my application and human effort from relief workers. The application is designed to track missing and found people after the disaster. This is a website. The application is fully functional and can be found on hopeboard.org if you want to play around it with yourself. Each person in the database is separated into three categories. Missing, people reported to be missing. Missing by people, those close to them. Registered, people registered in the database as OK or found. And finally, unidentified, people, especially children and the elderly, who are unable to name themselves. Each person in the database has, a, has an information page automatically generated for them that contains their names, age, genders, and other relevant information. The point for this is to give loved ones loved ones around them a sense of security, knowing that those close to them are OK. The website also gives resource mapping for relief organizations that gives the location of food, shelters, police stations, etc. So these relief organizations can direct people where they go. That's my project. I hope to take my project to the next level. The future of Hope Board is people, students and adults, assisting me, trying to get these, these ideas implemented in real life disasters, real world, world situations. 
I think it's very important that our technology infrastructure is ready for the very next disaster. We can't stop Joplin's. We can't stop Sandy's or Katrina's or even Tuscaloosa's. But we can be ready for them when the time comes. Thank you.